some people may say they should not only do bad things. Some people may say that. And that is partially true. Because we should not do bad things, right? But are there some things that are okay that we should not do as well? Yes, right? Let's say going around a person let's say that person isn't doing anything wrong but let's say going around a person ultimately makes me want to cuss like say the b word the f word the s word like say really horrible things. Should I go around that person? Now, going around a person per se may not be wrong, right? But if going around someone will make the worst come out of me, Why should I do that? Okay, for instance, let's say, uh, let me think of another example. Let's say going to the beach. Now, going to the beach may not be a sin, right? But if seeing women with a two-piece on or showing their belly and their bare back, if that will make me sin, should I go to the beach? Huh? Should I? Well, Kevin, I think you can go to the beach because the Bible doesn't say going to the beach is a sin. Okay, you have a point. But if doing something or going somewhere is going to influence me to do what is wrong, why do it? Just because it is not a sin, just because something is not a sin, doesn't mean I can do it. Right? If going to Target or to a certain store will influence you to steal, don't go. Going to a store is not a sin, right? But if it is going to make you do what it is wrong, don't go. Look at your life now. What are you doing that is leading you to sin? Think about it. Is it your phone? Is it your laptop? Is it your tablet? Is it your friend Tommy or Chanel or Crystal? Is it makeup? Is it certain clothes? Is it lingerie? What is causing you to sin? 
if you are doing something that is causing you to sin, leave it alone. And let me see if I have that scripture up still. And I don't think I have it up. I don't have it. But I spoke about it with someone. But somewhere as if <laughs> I may say this totally wrong. But if your eye makes you to sin, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out because I think it is in, is it Matthew 5? So let's go to Matthew chapter 5. Okay, let's go to the King James Version. All right. Mm, not the ESV, but the King James Version. Where are we at? Okay. Let me see. Let me do it like this. So if you have your Bible, let's go to Matthew chapter 5. Okay. And verse... 29 and maybe to 30 and if thy right eye offend thee pluck it out and cast it from thee for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not thy and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. Now, do you know what this is saying? Do you know, like, pretty much, in essence, what, what this is telling us? And let me look at this. Okay. Now, this is speaking about I believe your right hand and your right eye. Okay. I think those are really extreme but true examples. Pretty much whatever is causing you to do what is wrong, get rid of it. No matter if it is a sin or not to have it. Please check out Matthew chapter 5, verses 29 through 30. I may post it. I don't know yet. But whatever is causing you to sin, leaving you to sin, take it away. Right? For instance, I don't know how everyone else is, but... If a woman is interested in me and maybe not how maybe I am not that way now but I think I was that way before but if a woman is interested in me and I am interested in that woman there is no way I can spend so much time with her face to face without trying to touch on stuff and do some other stuff. That is how I am. Maybe you are that way. Maybe you are not that way. But I am going to be trying to, you know, do some stuff. 
eventually. Maybe I am not that way now, but back then, like, it was pretty much a given. So if I was trying to live for Jesus Christ back then, there is no way I would be not trying to do some bad stuff with a woman if I constantly was around her. Do you know what I mean? Now, going on a date is not wrong. But if too much dating is going to cause me to sin, let me stay away from it. Don't look at only what is a sin. Look at what is causing you to do what is wrong. I hope this makes sense. Because I think some people are so, I think some people are so attached to what is a sin and what is not to where they may ignore what is causing them to sin other than the general sin. Let me stop here. God bless you.